There was never anything missing. This is already home. This is already complete. This is already unconditional love. And no one is separate from it. No one can get to it. No one can get more of it, experience it, attain it. Enlightenment is an idea for a sense of a me that feels like it's getting somewhere, feels like it needs to get something, feels like it needs to achieve something, and that it will actually finally get what it's looking for. If you want to use the word enlightenment, then this total pure aliveness everything is enlightenment this is its freedom its liberation it's already the case no one is actually asleep No one is actually in a dream. This dream of a me that's separate from the world, that has a life, that owns this body and is moving through time and space. It's a beautiful illusion. It's a dream. And there's nothing right or wrong with it. It automatically is just what's appearing to happen. No one caused it. No one made it happen. So how can anyone undo it? How can anyone dissolve it if there's already no one there? Already no one that's separate from the world. No one who can finally get to the pure simplicity of this. What's looked for is this. sensation, sound, absolute and total free, boundless energy. Everything that's appearing is empty fullness. It's totally empty. Empty of meaning, concepts, knowing, actual solidity. And it's just buzzing with life. It is life. Everything is life. Just dancing, playing, expressing. There's no real difference between the sounds of the birds chirping and 
thoughts. There's no source to them. It's emptiness chirping, emptiness thinking, and we have no idea what that is. It's all unknown. The simplicity of just this, just what's appearing to happen, and it's not happening to anyone. No one is experiencing it, although it can seemingly feel like that, like things are happening to a someone, to a here, to a center. And that is the dream. crazy that it can appear that way, that it can really convincingly feel like that. And something seems like it's longing for home, for rest, for this, for for the knowing that this is unconditional love. that this is perfection, that this is total, that this is complete. Something longs for it and it doesn't quite know what it's longing for because it can't know this. It can't get to it. Perhaps it can have tastes and glimpses. But then it's owned by a me. And this is the total absence of the one that can make sense of this. That can know this. That can grasp it that can make meaning out of it. So people ask the question, how can I get this? How can I get to it? What can I do? And that question is arising from nothing. No one is actually asking it. There's already no one there who's separate from this boundless love. The sense that is asking that question is the illusion that I'm living a life. that I'm in time moving from thing to thing, getting experience to experience, getting closer, understanding more, knowing more. And really nothing can be known. So how this happens, why this happens, 
is not something that can be defined and pinpointed and said for sure that this is the way. Because really, it seems like, you know, we try to collect stories and try to find some sort of pattern or parallels. But it does really seem like, you know, it happens while walking down the street or in, in a car crash or when someone dear to you passes away or on a spiritual path or when listening to this message or when there's no interest in any of this at all. It can just seemingly happen. And it can happen suddenly, it can happen gradually, if you had to describe it. It varies so greatly. And it's amazing that every apparent body will seemingly have a different experience. And so even though nothing can be said for sure, like what seems like a good I don't know, a thing to keep in mind is that there's just an intuitive sense that's already there and As a story, it was already, it was already guiding. It was already just doing what it was doing. Perhaps it was taking you on a, on a, you know, long, windy road of seeking the answer through Higher education, better job, better pay, a partner, spirituality, non-duality, radical non-duality, travel, more experiences, more states. And yeah, the crazy thing is, it's like, In the dream, you can use so many different tools and techniques and practices and people can tell you so many things about the way of being, how to be present, how to stay in the moment, how to relax, how to experience no me, how to be more loving, whatever it might be. It seems like all of these things produce a different state, different experiences, different happenings, and it makes it really seem like, like progress is being made. And It seems like there is still kind of a flow to life and that everything constantly changes, even though that's still a story, that's still an interpretation by the mind. But it seems like the body grows, it evolves, just like nature, just like other animals, they learn and they never just stay stagnant. They never just stay exactly the same. There's always this growth or some sort of evolution that takes place and that naturally happens automatically on its own. But that's not really indicative of if an energetic shift 
from feeling like me to this boundless freedom, it doesn't really say whether that will happen and when. It's so spontaneous. I mean, everything is spontaneous, so you just can't know for sure. You can't say anything for sure. It's beautiful. It's just all unknown. It's all a total, complete mystery. And it's beautiful that we try to understand. We try to know. We're, we're searching for an answer. And that's automatically happening. No one is doing that. No one is behind that. It's this emptiness playing, emptiness searching, emptiness seemingly pretending to be asleep, to be separate. So yeah, it's beautiful that these, like the tools and techniques of staying in the moment and being present, it's beautiful that those can be used. And if it relaxes the body and calms the mind, maybe it seems, then yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It can make psychological or physiological changes. Um, But it is all kind of pointing to a sense of me that needs to get somewhere, that needs to become more peaceful, become more calm, become more loving, become more present. And that's not really what's being spoken about here. It's saying that there's no one there doing that. There's actually no one there act on an actual journey, making progress, becoming more peaceful. Like this seems like it, it's hard to say if or when this happens and some can seem to be in deep deep suffering then it happens and others are just more relaxed and kind of aren't longing for anything anymore or kind of more neutral and then it happens um so there really is no saying but there's a preference here for if there's a lot of suffering, then you can address that and not try to escape it. Because it does kind of intensify the seeking a lot to think like this is the answer and the one that desperately wants an out. will not get anything. It won't get the relief that it thinks it's going to get. Because this is unimaginable. This is a total absence of a need for anything. total absence of a longing for a better something.
So yeah, I don't think that anything necessarily needs to be rejected. Like if it feels good for the body to, I don't know, meditate or practice being present. Um, there's really nothing wrong with that. It is just for a sense of a me and it doesn't guarantee that, you know, any shift will happen, but nothing guarantees that anyway. So if, if that feels good for, for the body and yeah, there's just a wanting to do that, then really there's nothing right or wrong with it because there's nothing right or wrong with anything. Um, you don't really have to reject anything or at least that's that's how it's seen here and another thing that i've been asked is like do i really want this and i thought it was such a good question um, because I don't think I ever asked that question. It was, I, and I didn't even know exactly what I wanted because no one can know what this is like. So you're kind of just going with whatever other people are saying. Um, so I thought that was such a good question. And like, I'll be honest, one, it's not really comparable because it is the absence of the one that experiences anything. So then it's just pure sensation sound. It's just pure boundless energy. And that's impossible to describe. And the one, there, there is no one that's asking the question, but the sense that is, is asking the question is not going to be there in order to know what this is or experience it or have it or own it. So nothing will be achieve, achieved, nothing will be gained. They'll, it's more of this dissolving. Of this sense of a me. And what you're left with is already what was here which is just the simplicity of everything of nothing everythinging of emptiness playing in all of these different appearances Totally unbound, undefined, borderless, edgeless, unknowable, undefinable, cannot be mentally grasped. And the body can still be uncomfortable. There can still be a lot of thoughts. There can sometimes still be intense emotions. Everything arises. It's, it just doesn't have the same kind of gravity to it. There's a lightness to it. 
because it's not owned by anyone. It's not happening to anyone. The, the stickiness, it can't stick to anything. So things do kind of tend to come and go a bit more quickly, you can say. And this is just a description, so it will always change. So always take it with a grain of salt. And this doesn't necessarily happen to everybody. So um, but here it seems like there is this underlying piece that is totally beyond understanding. There's just a resting. And almost a deep relaxation that seems just there. But again, that doesn't mean that the body can't feel agitated. And yet, there's still a, a deep resting in it or an okayness with it. No one's being okay with it. It's just, it has nothing to stick to. So it's just there it, and it's not really solid. And certain things seem like it fell away, like the interest in, you know, eating a lot, interest in music, in entertainment. Not that it can't be watched, it's just, it does seem like it's extra and there's no need for it. Sometimes it's, it's like entertaining and pleasurable, but for the most part, it's not that needed. So there is this like resting or enjoyment in just being, like the body just sitting. And that seems more than enough. And but what seems like it can't what what seems like um is is dissolving is like the ambition and motivation to become something or build something. And so, at least right now, it is difficult to make something happen, make something solid happen. Like, sometimes plans are made, but then they dissolve really quickly. And they're like, it's difficult for it to solidify. Um, so there can be initial excitement about something, and then it... it seems to dissolve quite quickly. So there's a little bit of like noticing and, and adjusting to that because that wasn't really the case here before. Uh, not to that extent. Like if something was planned, it was a bit easier to kind of make it happen and follow through. But again, this can change. It's constantly changing, constantly. So um, I, maybe it's, it's an apparent phase or something. I have no idea. Um, but that's just a little description. Um, and another thing is like, do you want this? Do you want this? I can't answer that for you. But it's, there's also, it seems like sometimes the empty fullness can be seen all at once. And I would think that probably still after that, there would be a dissolving of the remnants of 
the energetic sense of me or meaning like whatever the whatever that sense really wanted for its life like things like that can crumble not necessarily but it can um the way it happened here it seemed like there was a seeing of this empty fullness and then there was a seeming period of more and more emptiness more and more of the meaning stripped away and it was pretty difficult um and luckily i did have some support from someone who had apparently um seen this empty fullness uh about like nine months before me so it was nice to have that kind of support and just understand in a way what was happening and that nothing was wrong and um when stories would still arise here and it would trigger the body, like speaking and expressing it was happening and it seemed to allow it to dissolve a bit faster. I can't be sure of that, but that's what it seemed like. And yeah, just more and more of the emptiness and everything was seen and It was not pleasant a lot of the times, but it was still okay. There was an okayness with it. There was an underlying energetic sense of this is it. There's nothing else. There's no next moment. There's no nothing other than this. And so then eventually it did seem like the fullness kind of came in. Um, but yeah, I won't deny that it was difficult for a bit here and there. So yeah, it just it just varies it seems, you know? How this seemingly unfolds. And it's fascinating. It's fascinating to share these stories and descriptions and it's just good to put a disclaimer that it's just one story and I just like sharing this stuff because it could potentially happen elsewhere and it's just nice to know that it could be difficult for a while it could be a bit disorienting because it is like so how, if i had to describe it how it felt here was like i was being shown aspects of suzanne's life and kind of mourning the dissolving of it there was a bit of reminiscing there was a bit of seeing things really clearly having massive amounts of realizations just coming coming and um then they dissolved the stories dissolved kept dissolving but it, it seemed like the processing was happening a bit faster because there was a free expression of it. There was no, um, there wasn't that much judgment of, is this good? Is this bad? What does this mean? It was just like, it's coming up. In a way, it's coming up to be seen. quite beautiful, painful, painfully beautiful. But that was also kind of something here in the character to be quite reflective and quite 
uh, quite thoughtful about things. Really like to to. Yeah, see all aspects of things. That I think that was just a, a character thing that was here. And it still kind of continues here and there. Like there's a lot of enjoyment in comparing, comparing what it was like to be Suzanne and what it's like now. Because nothing, nothing much can be said about what it's like now because it's just what's appearing to happen. There's such a simplicity to it, and there's not that much to say in a way because not much can be retained or you know since things can can freely easily just come and go, you can say in a general sense it is harder to make imprints like no imprinting seems like it is really happening. It's happening less and less. Um, so it's just pure life. Pure life expressing, living. And it was always that way. It was always that way. Even when the sense of, of Suzanne was seemed really there. Already no one was doing any of that. No one was making any choices, decisions. No one was guilty of anything. No one was to blame. It's like the scene that no one was to blame here and the guilt was falling away and no one was to blame anywhere else. No one was guilty anywhere. It's just all innocently, automatically, all just what's happening. The body is acting the way it's acting. It's crazy. To so thoroughly see that, that it's all just programming and conditioning. And it can be intensified by this ownership and this sense of me that feels like it's my actions, my thoughts, my feelings, and things can seemingly be amplified or intensified because of that. So other people's actions can be quite... Um, a bit more enhanced, maybe. So there's, there's like kind of an understanding of that and that there's no one to blame, but that doesn't mean like anger can't arise or like setting boundaries can't just happen. Um, you know, there's just a sense like, okay, some distance might be wanted here or... Um, so there isn't this sense of like, I love everyone or nothing like that the body just purely does what it does moves the way it does and thinks what it thinks mm. Yeah, so the question, do I want this? The one that is asking the question, even though it's not there, but the sense that is asking the question does not want this because it will not get this. It will not get something. It will not get a better life. It will not achieve 
what it wants. This is the dissolving of the one that needs anything other than what already just is. This is crazy. It's such a mystery. It's, it's such a crazy mystery how that's appearing. This sense of a me that feels separate, that longs for its own absence, doesn't know it. Usually, it tries all the sorts of different avenues. And then it could suddenly, somehow, spontaneously, perhaps the letting go can just happen. You know, it's not, it's not necessarily that a spiritual path led to the dissolving of a sense of self. I would more say, which I also can't say for sure, but I would more say that it, it was just done seeking. It was just done searching because it tried everything. And then it saw that, oh, there's no answer. There's nothing that can really finally satisfy. But when and if that happens, that's, that sense cannot dictate. That the seeking cannot say I'm done seeking. The seeking can't stop itself. And if it tries, there's nothing right or wrong with it. Then that's just also what's happening. No one's behind that. It's just what's happening. So there's nothing to get, I'm sorry to say, but this is already home. This is already perfection. This is everything that anyone has been looking for, longing for. It's just the absolute unbelievable simplicity. of pure sensation, pure sound. Pure energy, pure nothingness. Dancing and playing in all of these different ways, creating all of the appearance of all of these different stories. crazy. And it can't be known why, why this is all happening. 